Okay guys, so this is for another upcycling video. <sighs> We're gonna start working on that blazer. So you've seen this blazer hanging on my mannequin for a bit now in the vlogs. I've talked about it. I paid about five bucks for it recently at a thrift shop. And I don't think it was ever worn very much because one pocket was still sewn shut um, as it is when they're manufactured. Anyway, the first thing I did was cut six inches off the sleeves. And then I reached in between the sleeve and the lining. And I pulled out the shoulder pads. Don't need the shoulder pads. Um, I pinned a doily that I've dyed to sort of coordinate with the jacket to the back. We're gonna sew that down. I've also, on this one place on the sleeves and at least three places in the back, pinned a piece of fabric to the inside. I'm gonna sew a three inch row of stitching and then a few stitches across and then again down. Then we're gonna cut that open and we're gonna flip this fabric out to the right side and sew it down and create these little pleats, splits. I don't know what, I don't know what you want to call them. Anyway, that's what we're going to get started with. I'm also going to, out of the same fabric, which is this fabric, I'm going to cut out a peace sign to put on the back over the doily. So anyway, I guess we better get sewing. I'll be back. All right, I'm gonna stop here for now, but I did get the doily and peace sign sewn onto the back of the jacket. I got our little cutouts sewn, top stitched. And you can see I've pinned a lot of stuff to the jacket. I'm not gonna sew it all on right now. I will explain to you what I'm doing. I'm gonna live with it for a little bit and see if I like it. Plus I'm hot and it's nearing the end of the day. So there's that. I'll be back. <sighs> okay guys, I said I was gonna stop because it was too hot, but instead I turned on the air conditioner. I've pinned and repinned some things on the jacket. I think I'm happy with it now. I do wanna add something to the pockets down here, but I don't wanna lose the pockets. That means I need to unpick the lining so I can sew it on. But otherwise I'm pretty happy. The thing is, do I want to sew it now tonight or do I want to just stop for the night? Mm, I don't know. First thing we're going to do is unpick the lining so I can sew this cluster to the outside of the pocket. Not looking forward to this. I'll be back. Can you remind me never to do that again? <laughs> I did it. I got the... Uh, is it perfect? No. I got the bits on there and I can still get my hand in the pocket. I don't expect it to be perfect. If I did, I would have turned all the edges under. It's gonna fray and I'm all right with that, so. The other hard parts, the sleeves. I think I'm gonna do those before I do the, re the other parts because yeah, they're gonna be a pain. I'll be back. What we're doing to them. So we're gonna add some trim. We have to finish off the end of the sleeve somehow because I cut off six inches and I didn't hem it. So we're going to put some trim around the edge and we're gonna gather up a piece of lace and put it in the opening that we made right here. So it puffs out just a little bit. All right, I'll be back. The pockets are done and the sleeves are done. How cute is that? And ideally I'd like to keep going, but the problem with that is it's seven o'clock. <laughs> Probably should stop 
and at least check in on Bob because I'm not sure if he's got in a meeting or has he just lost track of time or usually he comes to get me by now. But we still have the collar to do and then inserting lace in these openings that we created around the back and then this piece. But I don't think we're doing that today. I think I need to clean up. I think I need to go get the husband and I think we need to eat dinner. Nice. I'll be back. So working on the jacket video today, we are going to hopefully finish the jacket today. Before we do the collar, we're gonna do these little cutouts down here at the bottom. I'm going to insert some lace behind them like I did on the sleeves. And on the back, center back one at least, we're gonna put this cluster of uh, materials at the top of said cutout. So let's do that first. I'm gonna do it very similarly where I'm going to gather the little piece of lace and sew it to the top and maybe to the sides. And then once I get all three of those done, then I'll take and I'll put this cluster on the back. We'll see if it's as easy as it sounds. Somehow I don't think so, but we'll find out. I'll be back. So I think on these little pieces, triangle pieces of lace, I'm going to sew it across the top and then I'm going to scoot the edges in and sew it down each side. It will puff out a little bit without me having to gather it, which is what I want. So we're going to do that. Okay, that's done. We've got these all sewn in place. The lace is inserted. This piece is sewn across the back. I didn't do that on the sides because I wanted them a little plainer, but we've got the lace inserted. Things are puffy and they're going to fray and that's what I want. Now I think, at least for the moment, if I change, I might, you know, we'll see when I'm done if I change my mind, but it, for the moment, I think I like the way it looks. Now we have to work on the collar. So, Lindsay Wyrick, she's the frugal crafter. I'm the lazy crafter. And so I have a tendency to just pin everything and sew it at the same time. That's not always the right way to do it. So I did pin everything so I could see where I maybe wanted things. That works for me, but I need to keep these clustered and remove them. First, I need to sew this under lace down. Then we're gonna take these clusters one at a time and attach them one piece at a time, which is the proper way to do it. it takes a little longer, it's not as fast but you know everything's attached down securely. Don't be in a rush. Don't be me. All right, let's get it done. So I think if we can get them on there without taking things apart again, I want to add this piece to the outside of this pocket. There is a little spot right here, and I think I'm just going to take the opportunity to add a piece of this lace tatted hand, and hand tatted trim and to just camouflage it a bit. And then I think I'm going to add a few trims over here. Hopefully I can just get in the pocket this way and I don't have to take things apart again because that would suck. I also have these two pie shaped pieces I'm gonna sew together and then attach to the opening and the two collar pieces. So let's do that. It's done. I haven't put it in the wash yet to fray anything, but do you wanna see? Okay, hold on. Okay, so doesn't really go with the outfit I have on today necessarily, but what do you think? I like it. I'm pretty pleased. And I have a couple of dresses downstairs I know I could wear it with. So anyway, what could you do with an old jacket maybe you have hanging in your closet or one that you've thrifted or, I mean, 
Make it wild and crazy. People are going to stare, but who cares? Ah, uh, you know, have fun with your clothing. And if you don't want to do this on clothing, maybe you can do it on a journal cover or something. Or a handbag or, you know, think outside your uh, little box. If you're in a box. I think I threw the box away. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave some uh, links particularly to T. Meyer's channel. She's got a lot of upcycling videos similar to this on her channel, and they're much more instructional than mine are, and uh, I would definitely recommend them. Uh, so go show her some love, and um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you really do deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.